Welcome to Box Free with Stephanie. Today I want to show you how to make some basic foods with simple ingredients from scratch. And I hope you discover cooking from scratch is fast and delicious. So let's cook together. Today we're making cheeseburger pizza because um, I discovered this, I don't know, a few months ago or something. And I just think it's really cool how it totally tastes like a cheeseburger. So we're going to cook together. Um, I have made some bread dough in my machine and so what I'm going to do is grease my pan and kind of grease my hands at the same time and then we're going to spread out our pizza dough and make a cheeseburger pizza which is just really yummy when you don't have a dog hair in it. Hang on, we don't really need a little dog hair in our pizza. Okay, there it is. All right. Um, okay, so you want to have a nice, nicely greased um, pan, and then while your hands are all greasy, you can reach in um, and get your gorgeously soft bread dough out of there. Um, and this is a, um, I think it's a pound and a half loaf of dough. Um, it used um, two cups of flour. So, um, so I use a bread machine because I have one and it's really handy. I just put it on the dough setting and this is just a totally white um, plain bread dough. It's not really like pizza dough, um, but I find that that works just fine. So I'm just going to squeeze some of the air out and then um, we're just going to work it out. I'm going to grab my rolling pin to make my life a little easier. Whoopsie, hang on. Okay. Um, so I make homemade pizzas quite a bit. Um, hey, Maddie, you know, my little foster dog's trying to get my food. Um, but when I make regular pizza, like pepperoni or Hawaiian or whatever, um, I always season my dough with garlic and Italian seasoning and all that kind of good stuff. But when you're making cheeseburger pizza, you certainly don't want, or I don't think you want that Italian um, flavor. You want just plain bread because that's what you have a cheeseburger with is just a plain bun with no flavoring. So, um, so I suggest not flavoring your pizza dough. And so if you didn't want to make your own pizza dough, you could just buy the refrigerated pizza dough or um, the baked stuff that's already like in the shape um, or even frozen bread dough would work. You just maybe, we'd have to see how much, like if you would take a whole loaf or just like two thirds of it, you just kind of maybe have to experiment. Um, I like the two cups of flour makes the perfect size of crust I feel like because if I really want like a deep thicker pan pizza then I might want like a three cup um, ta recipe. But I feel like with cheeseburger pizza, you don't really want a thick pan style pizza. So um, this one seems to be just enough. And this is just, again, just a basic yeast dough. Um, so it should, there's my oven telling me it's ready. Um, it should rise up a little bit and give us some decent, decent, nice, like bun type of feeling for our cheeseburger pizza. So I just like to go over the edges a little bit because it seems to shrink up. And then the other fun thing we're going to do is add sesame seeds because, you know, you always have a cheeseburger with a sesame seed bun. So we're going to add sesame seeds. And you wouldn't have to add the sesame seeds. You could skip that part. Um, it just makes it look kind of cute and fun. But um, you wouldn't have to. Okay, so that's pretty much even all throughout. Um, so I'm gonna just go with that. Okay, so now I have a little tiny dish of water and my sesame seeds. I gotta just take some of this oil off, or maybe I don't. Um, and so the trick is to um, just try to get your seeds on the edge. And um, sesame seeds on, on dough like this doesn't stick really, unless you have water. So I'm gonna, um, this looks a little bit wet. I'm going to measure out like a eighth of a cup of sesame seeds and then 
what I'm going to do, you could get a brush, but whatever, I just use my hands. You just wet the edge of your thing. I'm going to do half at a time here. Wet the edge of your pizza, and then you sprinkle on your sesame seeds. And I kind of like to put plenty on there because it's cute, and it's not like they have a strong taste. So, and if it does give you a taste, it's going to be a good one. So, you just sprinkle them on kind of like that. It's a little bit messy, but, um, whoa, that's really got a bunch on that spot. Okay, so that is your bun. And look, I barely used any, so I think I'm going to have to change my... This is something I never measure, so I was kind of guesstimating. Um, so I'm going to say that was maybe like one tablespoon worth of sesame seeds. And these are just untoasted sesame seeds. Okay, so now we've made our bun. So now we have to make our ketchup and mustard combo. So we are going to do two thirds. I'm just going to take this whole thing off. Two thirds of a cup of ketchup. So that's one third. And I think this combination is just about perfect. Like, I don't know, I've been really happy with it because there's a whole bunch of different, when you look up like cheeseburger pizza online, it's a whole bunch of different um, quantities and um, ingredients in the sauce. And I like two tablespoons of mustard and the two thirds cup of ketchup. To me, that seems like just really has a nice cheeseburger ketchup mustard taste. So you just combine this and this makes your pizza sauce instead of your spicy Italian sauce. I'm just checking my recipe here to make sure I'm doing everything right. So see how it becomes kind of like a nice orangey color that that mustard really changes it up. So you just draw a dollop this all over and then um, add your ingredients. So I'm going to spread this out and now that I have my bun edge I can kind of see like where I want to stop with my sauce. And this is the same as um, making pizza too. Like I, this is, seems kind of thick like I don't know. Maybe I should make my bun just a little bit smaller. I kind of went crazy on my sesame seeds today but that's all right. Um, okay, so this looks like kind of a lot of sauce, but I don't know, this is my recipe I always use, so um, I'm going to go with it because I don't, I don't usually change this recipe. Um, so we're going to just say that that's good. Okay, and then um, you add your burger. So this is just plain hamburger cooked up with nothing in it. And so this is basically um, two cups worth if you were to squish it down here, two cups, or this is three quarters of a pound. So I think I'm going to use all of this, but I don't know, it looks like a lot of meat. Because um, I used to think that I did a full pound of meat. So, but I must not have. This is just really a lot of meat. So maybe I did half a pound. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to say in my recipe. Because that just seems... Doesn't that seem like plenty of meat? I mean, I don't know. I swear that's... Okay, so that's like more like a cup of burger that I used. Huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll add a little bit more here. I don't know. It's hard to measure sometimes. I don't really know how much I put on. I guess I just say that's good. I mean, that looks like enough, right? For a burger pizza? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to call that good. Okay, then I have some onions, of course. Um, if you don't like onions, just don't put them on there. No big deal. These are green onions, and this is, um, I think, just a quarter cup. And if you didn't have green onions, you could just do diced onions, whatever. You just want a little bit. Like, even this seems like almost too much. See, I don't measure these either. I'm trying to measure today, and I think that looks like enough. So I'm just going to leave that little bit there. Okay, then my pickles... I'm not going to put on until later. So I have pickles, tomato, and lettuce. But um, you don't really want to add these things when you put it in the oven because they'll get these, 
the lettuce and tomato will for sure get all like, I don't know, wilty and not as fresh. And even the pickles can kind of dry out. So what I'm going to do is just skip to cheese right now. This is supposed to be like two cups. And this is something I really don't measure. I didn't today for sure, but um, you just put enough cheese on until it looks good. And I'm thinking this is a little bit more than two cups, but um, usually I do when I'm making like regular pizza, um, traditional I should say, um, I do like a pound of grated. And I don't know how much that is because I just take a block of cheese and grate it. So anyway, you just put cheese on until you feel satisfied. Um, so yeah, that looks like a good amount. Okay, so now I just want to make sure it's all spread out. We're going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake it for like 15 or 20 minutes till it's basically done. Then we're going to add those things. Oh, with more cheese, I got to get more cheese. Um, a little more cheese on top and then it'll be time to eat. Ouch, watch out for the oven. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come back in like 15 minutes and check that, so we'll see you soon. Okay, we are back. My pizza's been in the oven for 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to pull it out, add the rest of our toppings. So this is what it looks like. And it just totally smells like a cheeseburger. It's so cool. <laughs> so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is add my pickles. And this is a, um, a third of a cup. And you just kind of have to see with these ingredients like how much you like. If you love pickles on your cheeseburger, then you might want a half a cup. And if you don't, just skip it. Um, but I like to take a little bit of time and kind of make sure they're spread out decently. Um, I don't know, that almost looks like enough. Well, I guess I'll just put these few on. Um, so what I've done with this one in the past is kind of put all this this is half a cup um, put these toppings on and then just eat it like that but they seem like they fall off because you go to like lean your pizza and I don't know so I've started doing this adding them when it's all baked but then I add just a little bit of cheese back onto it and then it like holds it in place better because the lettuce you certainly don't want to get all wrinkled and wilted in the um, oven but you can totally serve it just like this if you want it if you didn't want your tomatoes and your pickles to get all hot um, then you could just serve it I mean totally looks like a cheeseburger doesn't it it's so cool um, okay and the other thing I was gonna say is you could um, you could add bacon um, and make like a bacon cheeseburger out of it which I've never done I totally should because we like bacon I've just, I guess I never think of it in time. Um, so like, I don't know how much I added, a quarter cup of cheese, let's say. Just enough to um, like get that stuff to stick a little bit so it doesn't fall off when we're eating it. So now I'm gonna throw this back in. And I'm just gonna cook this for two minutes and then we'll come right back and serve it up. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and the pizza is ready. It's only been in here for one minute, but it did what I want, which is to um, make some of this stuff stick. So one minute, I would say, is all you need for um, your new cheese to be melty so that it can hold on to this stuff a little bit better. So there's your cheeseburger pizza with little sesame seeds and all the toppings. Um, I don't know, the first time I had this, it was such a bizarre experience because it totally looks like a pizza, but it tastes exactly like a cheeseburger. I mean, it was just like, my brain was, you know, like, am I eating a cheeseburger? Am I eating pizza? So it was kind of funny, but I just thought it was really yummy. Um, and so did my family. So we've been making it quite a bit lately. Um, so. There's your cheeseburger pizza. I think it's gonna be a little bit messy because it's so hot. Um, but I'm gonna try a bite really quick. So there's my pickle, tomato, burger. I wanna get all of it. Um, I won't get my sesame seed to get that at the end, but it's actually a crust that people will eat because it has the sesame seeds on it, hopefully. Um, so let's see if I don't get this too hot. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. It's really yummy. Mm. It's really good. And see, the crust is um, like a nice thickness, you know. So, mm. All right. There's our cheeseburger pizza. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching Box Free with Stephanie. I hope you make cheeseburger pizza, and I hope your family loves it. And um, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.